For this review, we're going to sit back together and whistle a while as you join me to take a look at one of the most recently released Irish whiskies. Hello, I'm Big Al and welcome to Whiskey Street, where you can join me in my spiritual odyssey through the wonderful world of whiskey. Today, I said we're going to sit back and whistle away. So what does that mean? Well, it means we're having a look at the Whistler Mosaic. And what is that? It's a single grain whiskey. It's bottled of 46% ABV. It'll cost you around 40 quid. It's non-shell filtered and it's natural coloured. But what does sit back and whistle mean? Well, this comes from the Bowan Distillery, which is just over the border down in the south of Ireland uh, in Meath. It's in the Boyne Valley and the Bowan Distillery takes its name from the Celtic goddess of that said river. And to sit back and whistle a while, here's what it means. This whiskey was whistled into life one fabled New Year's Eve and this whiskey has notes of family tradition and history. The Whistler is a whiskey of noteworthy craft that is old as the story told, the written word and the whistle tune. The distillery was established in 2015 by the Cooney family. It's a complete family affair. And while I've never had any other whiskey before, I've heard good things about much of it. So I'm going to pop all the links down and below so you can read what the distillery is all about, what whiskies they have, and I can tell you what, it is a fascinating read. Before I get right in to the review itself, I'm going to try something that I don't normally do. You know what, as my good friend Alan over at the Whiskey Friend says, I'm going to do a wee bit of housekeeping before I get in. It's not going to cost you anything folks, please smash that like button don't forget to subscribe and while you're at it hit that bell notification because that means every time i post a new video you're going to get a notification so you're not going to miss out on any future content as i say it doesn't cost anything and you'll be glad you did you'll be glad you did now in the interest of full transparency the bottle that you see here behind me I didn't buy it. It was sent to me by the distillery, but it wasn't sent to me for a review. I entered a Twitter competition and I was lucky enough to be one of the winners. So that's why they sent it to me. So there's no expectation from the distillery that I'm going to review it. Although they probably are aware that I will because of the channel and whatnot. But just because they sent it to me doesn't mean that I'm going to give it a favourable review. What I tell you here is going to be honest, that's what I feel, and we'll take it from there. Now, this is a single grain whiskey, and here's what the company say about it themselves. The Whistler Mosaic Marcella Cask is a fantastic example of a premium small batch single grain whiskey from Ireland. This unique whiskey has been initially matured in ex-bourbon casks before uh, being finished in exquisite Sicilian Marcella casks. This creates a perfectly balanced whiskey which boasts a deliciously fruity and flavoursome nose and palate to match. So let's get right into it and see if it does what it says on the bottle. If you happen to have a pour of this, please go and grab yourself a Glen Kern, put a wee drop in it, and join me in it. If not, as I always say, pour something Irish if you've got it, and we'll have a wee drink together because whiskey is all about sharing and having a wee dram together. So let's get into it. Slot you. Straight off on the nose, citrus hit and it's blood orange, it's rich and it's deep. But with that, there comes a bit of nice multi chocolate as well, and a nice wee hit of lime as well. 
But what I'm getting here with that lime, it's more of a lime peel than a lime juice. But that initial hit, it is really fruity, it is flavoursome, and it just wants you to get the old snout in there and go for a wee bit more, so that's what we'll do. Now when you get right in there, there is a wee bit of mixed spice. It's not too much of a hit on the nose, but it, I wouldn't even go as far as saying it's cinnamon, but it does give you a wee hint of heat and it is very complimentary to that uh, orange and lime and malty chocolate thing that I was getting right from the off. You really do have to dig right into the Glencairn to get that spiciness because it is quite subtle but at the same time it just does really make this nice on the nose. But I'm also getting on the nose here while it's not much else going on in terms of aromas you get the impression that this is going to be a pretty smooth and mouth coating experience that's just what it's bringing across so let's get right into the palate and take it from there Slauncher. quite a bit different initially now on the palate it's vanilla and the spice now is a bit more prevalent mixed spice becomes a wee bit of cinnamon definitely more prominent than it was on the nose and there is a nice warming heat that just envelops the palate and that spiciness with the vanilla it just all blends together and you know what it really does bring you in here with a nice first sip and it's warming it's welcoming and it just invites you in to have a wee bit more or well in my case probably a whole hell lot more but anyway we'll get back in again we'll go for another sip and see how it develops and you know what it develops really nicely there's so much more going on here on the palate than there is in the nose marzipan and if you're a fan of this channel you know I'm not a fan of marzipan but you'll also know that it does work in some whiskies and it works here because the marzipan is more subtle than in some other whiskies and it leads nicely into a warming toffee aroma and then with that it's it's almost like a biting into a Ferrero Rocher you've got a lot of hazelnut flavor coming in across the tongue now and it's really just coating the mid palate heading towards the rear of the palate and it's lingering nicely there's still a wee touch of heat there but it's almost like there's praline there a bit of hazelnut like and I'm talking about mashed smooth hazelnut and you know what you can just sit back and really appreciate what this whiskey is bringing and I mean it's really really nice it's how can I put it it really is from that second sip like biting into a Ferrero Rocher and if you're a fan of that you will really love this whiskey I can tell you in fact before I finish the bottle I think I'm going to have to go out and get some Ferrero Rocher and have a couple with a dram just to see how much better it makes this but we'll give it another go and uh, sum up gotcha. toffee again still that hazelnut a wee bit more milky chocolate now than praline the finish 
it does linger but it's not a long finish it's more on the sort of like three quarters medium to long finish but the flavors remain and I have to say they really are bloody good a wee bit of the dark side of the chocolate coming in now as it lingers and goes towards the rear of the palate but it's still as it develops it's that hazelnut chocolatey praline thing that's going on with a wee hint of spice you know what for 40 quid this is a bloody good whiskey you know I'm glad I got it for free it's always good to win a competition but I tell you what I'm not blowing smoke up the distillery's ass when I'm saying this this is a bloody good whiskey the mouthfeel is creamy it's buttery and all those nice rich combination of flavors going on just add to the whole experience as I said before there's not a whole big pile going on on the nose but once you take this for a sip and you get into the palate it opens up it livens up it just becomes a completely different whiskey and definitely definitely one that I would be more than happy to go out and spend 40 quid on absolutely delightful single grain whiskey well done Boan keep up the great work in terms of a score what would I give this? I do like the single grain whiskies. I particularly like the Scottish single grain whiskies, although I haven't had any for a while. I'll just give it one more little sip before I finally decide on what score I'll give it. Because I'm tied between a couple of scores. I don't want to overplay it, but I don't want to underplay it either. Do you know what? If you're a fan of single grain whiskey, if you're a fan of Irish whiskey, in fact, if you're just a fan of bloody nice whiskey and you see this, go get it. It is bloody fabulous. Really, really do like it. So it's going to be an 88.5 for me. Damn near an 89. I like this stuff and this will not be the last bottle of it I get. Really good stuff. So anyway, folks, Happy New Year to you all. Thanks for your support during this year. And as always, look after each other, stay safe and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Slotcha. Thanks for watching, folks. I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews. And if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.